Hey everybody, it's Rory and today I've got the next KSP hard mode career video. In this one I thought about doing as a live commentary, actually recorded as a live commentary, but it's just, it got too stretched out and long. This video was literally 30 minutes, more, more than 30 minutes long without any editing. So I'm going to have to start doing that, I think. It's not quite going to work. So everything's sped up. You can see though I'm building the rocket here. This is just the um, the rocket that I'm building for the next mission, which apparently <laughs> is to go to Minmus. Obviously, I already know. So the mission is to go to Minmus. So it's the Minmus Mark One, and uh, I build it first of all. You can see, um, you know, with quite a big sort of lander stage, which is also going to serve as the transfer stage. It's quite a big stage with an LV909, so it's quite efficient. And then I add quite a big launch stage as well, because I want to get that thing nearly into orbit all on its own. And then from there, Minmus doesn't take that much Delta V, so we should be okay. Now, at this point, you see that I uh, changed everything quite a bit, added some decouplers in there. That's because I actually went out and then came back in again. But yeah, now that that's done, it's time to launch, and there we go. The rocket takes off pretty steadily, actually. It's just running on the SRBs at the moment, so it's not the best. It's not, um, you know, not the smoothest ride, and when those separate things go a little bit uh, sketchily, I'd say, um, <laughs> the SRBs happen to explode as soon as we separate them, which is kind of dangerous considering we've got no reverts or quick saves or quick loads. Anyway, back in this view now, and uh, yeah, it's basically just about um, getting into orbit, kind of a standard ascent profile. I went a little bit sort of high and you know steep in this rather than a shallow trajectory, um, just because the thing wasn't too easy to control without the um, LVT45 engines, which are a bit easier to control as they have the thrust vectoring. Anyway, and I'm already without even making it into orbit on this stage, but. I, I'm not actually too worried at this point. It's, you know, a fairly efficient engine, the LV909 is. So, you know, we should really be able to make it to Mimus fairly easily. As we do have two of those little um, fuel tanks, two of the sort of standard sized fuel tanks. And uh, I did take a moment to do a little bit of science in low carbon orbit as well. Not too much, but I think I did a mystery goo container because we brought a few of those along. And then it gets to the point where I need to um, actually change the uh, yeah the inclination to match us up with Minmus because obviously Minmus is on a slightly inclined orbit by a few degrees and then it's just time to create this maneuver node so just so you know as I did mention this is all at four times speed so 400% speed and uh, yeah I actually think it's fairly watchable at this speed like it's it's um, it's sped up enough that it's not boring, but you can still see everything I do, I think, um, to a reasonable level of detail. And uh, yeah, it, it's quick enough that I can commentate over it and still get through everything that I'm doing. And it's a lot less boring than watching 30 minutes of me sort of mumbling while doing something. I think for tutorials, the live commentaries work a little bit better depending on what they are on, because I can sort of guide you through my thought process. But for this kind of thing, I think the post commentaries are just a lot cleaner to do, um, and you know it's a nicer video to watch in the end. Trust me, you wouldn't have wanted to watch the half an hour of rambling that was before this. It was not, um, not fun to watch. <laughs> anyway, so there we go. We've got our transfer to Minmus set up, and uh, yeah then it's just a matter of doing a little bit more science before we go down. I actually did an EVA report here as well and uh, get Jeb back in because we do still have Jeb. Nobody's died yet. And then it's just time to land on Minmus. And this is when I realize how much I love landing on Minmus, how easy it is in comparison to the moon. I mean, we're coming at, I think it was about 350 meters a second and we just burn for, you know, maybe 20 seconds or so. We've stopped in midair basically. Oh mid space and uh, then we can just fall straight down and because the acceleration due to gravity is so low we can leave it really really late as well and it's you know even with a quite a you know weak engine really the LV909 it's still incredibly easy to land like this and fairly efficient as well you don't really lose much fuel doing it this way and uh, it's very very easy to do as long as you don't land on too much of a slope anyway 
And there we go, we've landed successfully. So it's time to do some more science. You can see we've still got just under a quarter of our fuel left in this tank. So we're pretty well off in that, um, so in that sort of regard. And anyway, we've landed on Minmus, so we have to plant a flag. Um, and then take a surface sample and get back in. And then hope that uh, we can make it home safely. So I did actually notice a bit later on a staging error that I'd made, so don't worry, I don't stage and split away all the science before we land. I'm not that stupid most of the time. Um, so yeah, I do notice that mistake before you think, oh, he's going to make that mistake. I didn't this time. <laughs> I quite I remembered. Anyway, so it's time to come back down to Carbon and I actually do two passes here kind of accidentally. I thought that I'd be low enough in the atmosphere here to slow us down and bring us down over land, but apparently not. Apparently um, we didn't come down low enough and I didn't realize that I just wasn't paying enough attention to my periapsis. So I do a bit of burning here and then a bit of burning at my apoapsis. And uh, I was actually trying to get us to bring come down over land just because that's easier to land on if you want to keep everything intact. But um, I'll show you a neat little trick actually if you're landing in water and you want to try and keep the damage to a minimum and it'll be kind of hard to see because it's sped up but basically uh, you'll see the game froze actually a little bit there for a couple of seconds it was a bit strange i thought it had crashed and uh, the ship span around a little bit but anyway um what i actually did was come down and um you know obviously the parachutes start to deploy at a few thousand meters then at 500 meters the parachutes fully deploy and we've actually got quite a lot of parachutes here so we're only going at a few meters a second which is part of why this was so good but then just as we're about to land i put my mouse over the recover button and as we land i spam click so as soon as we land there we go and uh, we get all of our science back so you can see we got quite a lot of science from that a couple of hundred science just from that mission two three hundred science i think 270 science or something and uh, we got all the parts back as well nothing exploded so we're pretty good in that sense so then it's just a chance to look at what we can get with that sign so it was a pretty obvious choice to go for those two because they're so cheap and then i decided to go with since we still have 200 and i think 30 odd science um it was worth unlocking the next the extra science part so we can get even more science that was the um the sort of materials lab and then i unlocked the bigger engines and um, some of the other rocketry rocketry parts so you can see there i was split between buying the cheaper thing or the more expensive thing and it which more expensive thing so i could have got some you know fuel lines i could have got some slightly more useful structural parts but i decided in the end to go for the thing with the skipper in it because at the end of the day i kind of need that extra rocket power and it doesn't matter if you know I don't have quite the structural parts to make it look nice yet. If I've got that skipper, that could almost take me to maybe even Juno if I really tried. Although I'm going to finish off exploring Mimbus and the moon first, get as much science as I can from there, before we head any further, basically, into the, you know, the solar system, that uh, the Kerbal system. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you like the video, as always, and have a nice day.